Now we are getting those FOMC minutes later on today and it's pretty highly anticipated after the Fed ended up tapering last month, which did surprise a lot of people. When we do get those minutes coming out, what is it that you're looking for in those minutes? And do you think there'll be any clues as to when they might start tapering again? Um, you know, I think listening to the last speech that we had in December, which was um, which was pretty transparent, it, was, it caught up some people off guard, myself in included in that, and it, it gave us a pretty good insight as to what the thought process is going to be for the first quarter of 2014. So coming into today's speech, we'll probably hear a little bit more, maybe a little bit more information um, about what was discussed and how they probably came to their decision on tapering and what the outlook is going to be for the next few months here. It's important that we get that same tone from December meeting um, in, into this this minutes you know that are coming out now we, we have to continue to hear that that transparency and information this is a very fragile situation we've seen how the markets have react both ways up and down after these minutes come out so it's going to be interesting to see how it's presented today I think we know what's going to be presented it's just how it's presented now fourth quarter earnings season is kicking off unofficially with Alcoa tomorrow now when it comes with a company like that who was just recently kicked off the Dow do you look towards those aluminum prices and how it's going to affect it in that quarter right so Alcoa's earnings uh, you know a lot of their revenue most of the revenue comes from comes from aluminum aluminum prices were down significantly in 2013 and we're starting we're continuing to see that trend Alcoa's revenues come from four different areas They've got mining, um, they've got smelting, they've got flat um, flat aluminum products, and then they have aluminum products that they make for airplanes. So the last two are higher margin business, they're the flat aluminum for cans, and they're air, the uh, airplane parts is a higher margin business, but the mining and the smelting really is affected by aluminum prices and that's where a gross uh, a number of their revenues come from in those those two primary areas so when we see aluminum prices getting hit as hard as they have I think we are going to see that in their uh, their earnings report come out but we all know that that's already priced in that's already expected it's really going to be the outlook moving forward what are their thoughts first quarter 14 second quarter 14 how do they see the economy how do they see different rules and regis uh, re uh, uh, rules and regulations uh, different tax laws how it's going to affect their companies moving forward we also are getting financials next. We have big companies like JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, those banks. When it comes to them, obviously we've seen profit margins at an all-time high, but it's not necessarily reflecting in those revenues. What do you look forward to those companies? All right, so in that, the financial area, I mean, we've talked about this before from 2008-2009, stepchild of the industry and people really feared away from them after we went through that economic crisis that we went through and now they're coming much more into light we could see some of the bigger names uh, you know, the JP Morgan's Wells Fargo's Goldman Sachs have significant profits uh, uh, as far as stock returns were in 2013 I think the investors are still gonna have to look and f uh, feel a little bit more comfortable investing in that area there transparency rules and regulations how Washington is is growing with the industry changing some of the rules to be a little bit more modernized for for today and helping those companies continue to be profitable. Investors have to have some sort of financial exposure in their portfolio. It seems now that at the end of 2013, coming into 14, they're a little bit more accepting and comfortable in that area.